here, this is um, our motion capture system. Uh, it's known as Qualysis from Sweden. And what we have here are the individual cameras that we have used to capture Julian. Um, the reflective markers you can see here, and subsequently bring up three-dimensional data here. And you can actually play back more than this. Yeah. Right? So we spend a lot of time looking at angles, uh, velocity of the movement. Is there enough speed? Are you actually flexing your arm fast enough? For example, like a uh, swimming start. You are supposed to actually um, extend your knees very quickly. Um, are you doing it fast enough? Uh, are you producing enough force? So all these data can be actually be integrated together uh, and be presented to the athletes. So I'm going to try the high speed machine right now and we can see how fast I really am. <laughs> like, it's fast, right? Thing. Yep, run if you want. One step. For the first time in my career, I'm doing a biomechanics analysis of someone running in flats. That's yeah, nice shoe. <laughs> um, obviously, the athlete is coming in at a, not a very high velocity. Uh, <laughs> Oops. Wrongly attired as well. Um, let's look at heel strike. Okay, quite a long heel strike there. Yeah. Let's look at how many seconds it takes to do complete the step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wow. Um, I can't tell whether it is a run or a jump. So uh, biomechanically it's not efficient, but um, for something showy, I think it works very well. <laughs> Usually if an athlete does it, um, if it's a swimmer, how does he do it? Okay, um, we wouldn't bring a swimmer to run. Swimmers are not meant to run anyway. Yeah. Swimmers can't run. Um, but we have yet to try it on the starting block where we get them to jump off the block. We look at uh, what's the contact time on the mat and where they're actually pushing off their feet. I think that I'm really graceful. So Davy, that's your foot. Yeah. Print, right? Size 11 feet. Wow. Yeah. So what, the, what this software actually does is uh, with the pleasure, pleasure platform, uh, we're able to look at where the center of mass is actually moving across the feet. The white line actually represents where the center of mass goes. Uh, I think lucky for me, my center of mass is pretty much in the center of the feet and this is where uh, ideally it should be across this line, just go through here. Mine is slightly off, but still okay. And the graph here is actually telling you uh, how much force is uh, going through. Okay. So I'm glad I made friends with Julian and of course Davy. So um, I want to thank you for you know. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Sure. Julian can't leave me now, so I think I'll stay. I'll stay around for a while. Sure, no problem. Okay. I think you like bony men a lot. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. <laughs>